All right. So, uh, sorry, I'm going to be a little uh, selfish on this one. Gerard in etiquette wants to challenge me on believing as many true things and as few false things as possible. Sorry for the hiccups. Uh, yes, hi. How are you guys doing? I don't know yet. Okay. Um, so yeah, there was actually um two avenues I wanted to go down. One was that with the um with your motto or phrase, whatever you call it. Sure. Um, and similarly was, I think something you said a couple weeks or a few weeks ago on the show when you were clarifying your position about um about the uh, not believing or believing no God exists. Um, I don't know if, if well, you have any preference for which one. You either need to ask a question or make some sort of statement because the, the, the thing I'm talking about when I say I want to believe as many true things and as few false things as possible, uh, to me, I don't even know how anybody could challenge that. I mean, not only am I basically cribbing Hume there, but essentially all I'm saying is I want my internal model of reality to be as accurate as possible. How could that possibly be a problem? Okay, so I'll try to articulate what I what I believe here. Um, I the part about that motto that I that I'm not sure I agree with is the you believe as few false things as possible. Not because you want to believe false things, but in the sense that okay, I don't feel restricted by um, believing potentially false things. I guess. So let's say you believe a hundred things. Let's say you believe a hundred things. What percentage of them would you like to be true? Um, all of them. Okay, so yeah. you would also like to believe as many true things and as few false things as possible. As few false things as possible would mean to believe nothing false. Hey, what what percentage um, of false beliefs are you comfortable with, and why? Well, I don't think about when I when I think about believing um, proposition. I don't think about it as like how many things I want to believe. I think more in terms of um, what do I believe that can potentially give me um, more insight into uh, understanding things. So, f for example, um, the the reason, like one of the things I think is. You, you know, you have people studying like string theory and these um, and these quote unquote theories. I mean, uh, whether or not they're a, a real scientific theory or not is up to debate. But you have people that do believe these things. Uh, okay, and they correct. could be false. You know, there's not. Um, they what, why would what, why wouldn't you reserve? Right. Why wouldn't you wait and believe something when there's sufficient evidence for it? Why would you be okay with believing something that's not true? Okay, so this is actually um, similar to another thing I wanted to bring up, which is... Well, I, instead you know, of switching to another like thing, is, we address this thing. You called in to challenge me yeah, on this that's what I'm thing. doing. Yeah. No, it's not what yeah, you're that's doing. That's what I'm doing. No, it's not. You called in to challenge me on this. I've asked questions. You, are you going to answer those questions? Yeah, so can you ask, uh, can you ask the question one more time so I can... Sure. What, what would you be... What false thing would you be okay believing? Um, I don't think that was the most recent question. Okay. You asked, well, um, I, I'm sorry that you haven't answered enough of these. I, I asked you what, if you, if you believed a hundred things, how many of them would you like to be true? And you said a hundred. So that seems that you agree with me. And then you say, no, you don't agree with me because you're not bothered by, by believing false things. And I wanted to know how many false things you were going to believe. And you didn't, no, 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 not fucking potentially false, false. How many false things? Did, did my original statement say how many true things and potentially false things? Uh, no, but... Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, so, so how many false I, things would you like to believe? Um, uh, I wouldn't... Me neither. Anything I wouldn't else? want to believe as few, or I would want to believe as few, but I think that, I think that holds back from believing potentially false things in the service of trying to get to greater truths. Why would you believe anything that could potentially be false? Why wouldn't your position be, hey, let's explore. Would you let me finish false. the fucking question? And, and again, 
what? I'm going to mute you so that I can finish my fucking question. The question is, why would you willingly believe something is true while knowing it's potentially false? That is a conflict. Why wouldn't you just say, let me explore this and find out whether or not it is true or whether or not it is false? Now I'll unmute. Because we don't we don't have total control over what we believe. Um, you're either convinced or you're not, what? right? Um, yes. But so we, if you're convinced of this, something, but if you're convinced of something, that means you think it's true, right? Um, yes. So how could you possibly be convinced of something, think it's true, and also identify that it is possibly false that is cognitive dissonance and it is the it is an of clear rational thinking we we don't because we don't choose what we believe okay we, you can i'm not believe i'm not something and not be rationally justified in it yeah, so can well, you convince yourself can you convince yourself that something is both true and possibly false um yes Okay, then. Well, so you let, don't have a sound epistemology. Go ahead, yeah, Jim. Yeah. Um, so, Gerard, let me ask you this question, because um, I, I think you might be missing something, and I, I'm not sure what it is. So, let's assume that I have the proposition the sky is blue. What are the possible positions you could take on that proposition? Um, it's either blue or not blue. The sky is blue. That's the proposition. What are the possible positions you can take? on that proposition um you can i think you're getting at that you can believe that it's blue or not believe that it's blue well uh, so there there are three pro there are three positions you can take and then there's my oh, okay. my personal favorite the fourth position but that's just me but there are three actual positions you can take you can accept it as true you can accept that it's false or you can say i don't know and I think what you're trying to do is that you, you you either don't know or forgotten that that third position of I don't know exists. So when a scientist is exploring string theory, to use one of your examples, it's not that he believes that string theory is true. It's that he doesn't know that it's well, true. And so he's exploring it. Does that make sense? Well, those aren't mutually exclusive. Even I'm sure that... Well, so when you I, say you feel exclusive, sure what do you mean? String theorists, you know, believe. What, what I mean is, I believe, or I, I think some string theorists believe that string theory is true, but Once it's not because. So again, that's not that's not my point. My it. my point is, do you understand that there are three positions you can take? Accept it as well, true. To, well, then, then not all, and I don't know. Believe. And I do, but I don't know is the third one that I think you're missing. And I don't know on a on a proposition is absolutely okay, and it's a position you can take. So if you're trying to prove something is true or false, you, don't you can start, pardon. That doesn't say whether you believe or don't believe it, though. Exactly, don't you don't know. know. Still believe or not believe. Right, and that's my point. So you don't have to believe something in false things until they're proven true. You can simply say, "I don't know." until you have proof for either side of the proposition. But you've already acknowledged that you think you can believe something is true and believe it's possibly false. And that is definitionally, that is definitionally. Right. And that's kind of what let me think that you didn't know about that middle position of I don't know. And my personal favorite, the I don't care, but that's, that's just me. But those are the three positions you can take. But I want I want to get back to the idea that um, you can believe something you can believe something is true or potentially false. Um, can you believe something no, is red? And, can what? you believe something is red and believe that it's potentially blue? Um, That's what I thought. Think on it some more. We're going to move on. Thank yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I think sometimes people forget that third position, that the, the default position should be, I don't know. Yeah, it's confusing because you're not always faced with like 
It's like, look at the God thing. Mm -hmm. it's, it, it's simply a fact. Either God exists or it doesn't exist. Those are the only two options. Right. What you believe, you can believe or reject either of those. What you can't do is accept both of those and claim that it's sound. Right. And it also and goes back to why trials are only try to prove guilt or not guilt, not guilt or innocence. Right. It's the same, same idea. We'd have to have a separate trial to prove innocence as opposed to proving uh, just guilt. Right? Uh, yeah, I'm getting ready to take care, take care of somebody in chat, actually. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> so, yeah, I, and that's, and, and then there's my, the fourth, my favorite fourth position, which is I don't care. Um, but, you people get hooked on this, I think, a lot, and thinking that while well, a proposition like the sky is blue, that proposition is either true or false. The position you can adopt on it is either is one of those three. I don't I know. Am being... convinced. I'm not convinced, and I am or am not convinced of the opposite, or right. don't have a position. Yeah, exactly. So those, that's that's the thing that that people need to realize is that. And sometimes the best position to take is the I don't know position um, and wait for evidence to come in. Yeah. It's it's one of those things where I get it. People would like to say, oh, here's a group of people who believe God exists. Here's a people, group of people who don't believe God exists. I'd like to stay in the middle, except that you can't. You are either right. convinced that God exists or you're not convinced. Whether or not you're also convinced that gods are fictional or whatever else is um, uh, right. Separate thing. Anyway. Yeah.